Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at scientific notation. So this is a math concept that you learn to do in eighth grade math, and then you will use it a lot in 10th grade whenever you take chemistry. So let's kind of look at why it comes up in chemistry again. So scientific notation is this right here. This is how we're used to seeing numbers. So let's talk about how that could be useful. This says an atom of oxygen has a diameter of 7.4 times 10 to the 11th M versus this really long number. So it's easier to read the number like this and kind of analyze more about it versus trying to count how many place values it is. So it's a way to write really small numbers. It's also a way to write really big numbers. This says the earth is 4.6 times 10 to the ninth years old versus this big number right here. So again, it's just kind of an easier way to look at numbers and think about how big or small they are. So today we're gonna to answer the question, how do I convert numbers between standard form and scientific notation? Standard form is the way that we are used to seeing numbers. Scientific is this new shorthand way. So let's go ahead and define that. Scientific notation is just a short way to write very large or very small numbers that typically have multiple zeros so they're a little bit more difficult to read. So this first number right here is going to be a decimal between 1 and 10. So this number right here before we multiply it by 10 will always be a decimal between 1 and 10. And then the exponent is always an integer. And if you remember from our previous lesson, that means a positive or negative whole number. Okay, and one thing I want to emphasize is that just because the exponent is negative doesn't mean it's a negative number, it just means it's really small, which we'll get into that. Okay, so first thing we are going to learn is how to convert from standard to scientific. So the first thing you want to do is get this decimal that's between 1 and 10. And the way you're going to do that is by moving the current decimal point to create a number between 1 and 10. And then you will count how many places you moved, and this will be your power of 10. So then we need to decide if the exponent is positive or negative. If the exponent is positive, then that number is more than 1. The exponent is negative if the number is less than 1. So again, a negative exponent does not mean a negative number, it just means small. All right, so let's look at this first one and go through the steps. So step number 1 was to create a decimal between 1 and 10. So currently the decimal point is right here. I would need to move it between the two and the three to make it between one and 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and write out my new decimal, 2.304. And now I'm going to count how many places I moved. And I moved one, two, three places. Okay, then scientific notation, this is the general form of it up here. It is always times 10, and then I need to decide if the exponent is positive or negative. Since this number was bigger than 1, it's a pretty big number, 2,304, it's going to be positive, and I moved 3 places, so the exponent is 3. Okay, let's look at the next one. So this is a big number. I know I'm going to have a positive exponent. 
My decimal is currently at the end and I want to make this number to be between one and 10. So I'm going to move it here. So my new decimal is going to be 1.209. We don't ever round with scientific notation. Always times 10. I know it was positive because it's a big number. Now let's count how many places I moved. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 1.209 times 10 to the seventh, that is the number in scientific notation. Okay, now our next two examples that we're gonna convert, if you notice, they are smaller than one. They both start with zero. So that means I will have negative exponents. It's the same process though. First thing I'm going to do is move the decimal to where the digits would make a number between one and 10. So 8.94, that would be a number between one and 10. Always times 10. It's a negative exponent because it's small and now I'm gonna count. One, two, three. So 8.94 times 10 to the negative third is a scientific notation way to write this number. Okay, next one, I need to move my decimal to make it between one and 10. So 4.036, that number is between one and 10. Always times 10, and then it's a negative exponent since it's smaller than one. And now I'm gonna count how many places I moved. One, two, three, four, five. 